watch before you listen here. What does grace do for us? Grace compels us to love him. How will you not love somebody who qualifies you? How will you not love somebody who pays the price and says yours is to enjoy the benefit? How will you not love such a God? How will you not stick to a God who says my job is to take the pain? The Bible says for our sake he became poor. That we through his poverty can become rich. How will I not love such a God? How will I not love a God whom the Bible says, while I was yet a sinner, he died for me? How will I not love a God who is seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for me? Right now, he said to the Father, Father, forgive him, I died for him. He said, Father, spare him. The reason you are still alive is because the Father is still seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. The Son is still seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Say, Lord, I die for him. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. How shall we not love such a God? How can we, how can we not serve such a God? Such a God who qualifies, who gives us hope in the midst of hopelessness, even when fathers are rejecting children, even when loved ones are abandoning their loved ones. But he says that a friend that stick and closer than a brother. He said, I've loved you with an everlasting love. The only thing we owe this God is to love him and just serve him. We can eh, we can we can never merit his grace. We can never be deserving of his grace. We can never do enough to say thank you. We can never justify before him that we are worthy. The only thing we can do is just to say, Lord, this one life, I just want to use it to love your service. How else can I pay you for such a lavish grace? For such extravagant joy of love. How can I demonstrate that I'm grateful? How else would I show to you that I'm grateful? If I don't love you and serve you. I'd like you to just tell him, Lord. Give me grace to just love you and serve you. That's what I owe you. Help me to be true to you. Talk to him this moment. I can never earn your grace. I can never be worthy. I can never, all my righteousness is like filthy rags. It's not due to my fasting. It's not due to my intercession. It's not because of the promise I give. It's just because you are just kind. You are just good. You are just loving. You are just gracious. You are just merciful. And Lord, I just say, Lord, I love you. I love you. I will serve you. I will honor you. I will follow you. I dedicate my life. I surrender my life at the altar. Here am I, Lord. Use me. I am yours to be used because you are worthy, my Father. Somebody make a fresh commitment to this God. Make a fresh commitment from your heart. Tell him he spent your life. You are alive today because he spent your life. You are alive today because he spent your life. Your mates are dead. Your mates are forgotten. Your mates are out there. Jesus the same forever. 
I'd like you to know he will not change because of you. He will not change because of you. He will not change because of you. I'd like you to just meditate on his goodness as they sing. Go ahead and sing, Lord. Can never, never change. Yes. He can never, never change. He can never, never change. Jesus is the same forever. everlasting love. The scripture says the gifts and the callings of God, they are without repentance. He said, I'm the one that giveth to all men liberally and operated not. The scripture declares that he is good and doeth good. This morning, whatever be the issue that has afflicted your life, I declare the grace of the Lord is bringing a solution right now. In the name of Jesus. That ugliness, that shame, that thing that has caused you pain, I prophesy in the same place you are experiencing shame. In the same place you are experiencing shame. You experience pain. In that same place, the grace of the Lord will be administered to cause him to turn around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because he can never change. Father, we thank you. One more time. I'd like you to lift your voice and say this prayer after I say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I dedicate my life. I surrender my all to you. This day, I declare from the depth of my heart that I love you. I will serve you all the days of my life. I will never, never abandon the faith. Abandon you. Everywhere I go, I will be proud to declare you are my Lord and my personal Savior. Let your grace locate me. Let your grace decorate my life. Let your grace beautify my life. Let your grace change my story. If you believe that, let me hear you shout it together. Let your blessing locate us. We we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before I drop the microphone, give the Lord a good clap of praise.